20 to 11, I was up something like 7.30ish. Um, I've been uh, kind of messing around. Um, actually waiting for the temperature to come up before um, I do some grocery shopping. The hickey on my face is a little bit better. Or it's a little bit ahead of schedule, is what I should say. Um, but I don't... It's a cold out. I'm sorry. Like I don't. I don't want to go out when it's freezing. It kind of defeats the point. Um, I mean, what what is? I'm not going to see a band. I wouldn't. Sorry, I wouldn't be going to see a band tonight. I would be going to a dance party, more or less. It's a couple of DJs. It's Andy Stott and Demdike Stare. Um, and what is the point of going to a dance party like that? Well. A big part of it is the weather, right? Is is it being warm out? Um, nobody wants to go, you know. Nobody wants to walk around half naked, dancing when it's cold out, right? And it's going to be, I mean, the low tonight. It says 12 degrees. So, I mean, even if, like if I was to show up there at around five, it would be only it would only be around like 20 degrees, right? So, it kind of, I'm probably gonna have to bring a sweater. Um, and when I take that away, like, it's just, I'm going out to get drunk. That's the, I'm going to get drunk and dance around half naked. That's, that's the, that's the point of the night. And I just, um, I mean, if you ignore the welt on my face, which is a substantial disincentive, it's cold out, and I don't really know if I want to get go drinking tonight. I just, I go through long phases like this. Like, I've gone like two or three years without drinking at all. I, I remember once I had a beer in my, fr I, had a, I had a case of beer in my fridge for 18 months. I remember because I counted it back. And uh, I actually had to call some people over to help me drink it because it was going to go, like, it was starting to turn. Um, so, like, this is, not unusual for me. I know that the like I said, you happened to catch me in a in a space where I was going out a lot and drinking a lot and smoking a lot. But um, well, it, ne neither neither existence is the norm for me, right? Um, if I go to before that period, there was a period here where I was actually in for a couple of years. Um, and that was broken by my by my gear collapsing on me, right? The interference. Before the interference, I was in, and I probably would have stayed in had it not been for the interference, right? That whole that whole phase I went through would not have happened had the interference not asserted itself, right? And before that, it was Occupy, or I was hanging out with Occupy people for a couple of years, and I was drinking a lot. And before that, I wasn't. I was in school, and I was well, I was smoking a fair amount, but I mean, I wasn't. Um, I wasn't going out and drinking a lot, right? I was spending most of my time by myself. So, I mean, it, it's... And, and before that, it was... Well, that, that was a good couple of years. Um, so, I mean, I will do that. I will go through long periods where I'm essentially straight edge. Um, and now that I'm not smoking... Well, I, I, was, I was smoking cigarettes a lot at the time. Or the last several uh, periods... Uh, of, of, of low uh, of low inebriation um, I, I don't know if I'm going into a period like that it's going to depend on circumstance but like the idea like I'm going to go all the way to Detroit in the cold to dance and it, it just it's not it's not sounding like the greatest idea right now so um, I, I'm, I haven't completely ruled it out but it's uh, pretty likely um I was outside too, I'll pull some weeds out, I heard somebody, well actually I heard some bass music and I was going to go and tell them to turn it down. I'm not joking, I'm, I, I don't, I like music but I like my own music and I think that if you're going to listen to music, it, you should listen to it you know, on your own. I don't want to, it bothers me less if I'm out walking around but I'm in my apartment. I don't want to hear your music in my apartment. The only music I should hear in my apartment is my music, so. And I, anyway, and I ended up pulling some weeds out, and 
I checked the I checked the weather. It is 18 degrees out, and he has the air conditioner on. So it's not um, it's not reasonable, right? Um, the te temperature has come down here to the point that the heat has turned on, right? So it's not um, it, it's like normal normal heat on temperature. If I was to turn the heat off, it would be you know starting to get. It, it, it would it, it would come down to the same temperature that it is outside because you know so yeah um, I'm, I have groceries to do um, given the temperature I think that rather than go dancing tonight I may want to plan for a compost run in the morning that's um, kind of the more likely scenario at the moment um, yeah so that's uh, and maybe get some shoes um, my budget situation is not bad. Um, it's not really good either, though. Um, if if I if well, if I if I stay in tonight, then that means I'm gonna have uh, that, that that much extra cash. Um, we'll see what my feet feel like, but I, I may have need some shoes tomorrow too. I'm rambling. Um, I need to. Uh, I, I I got some editing stuff. Um, I, I need to get ready to go grocery shopping, and. Um, I, th I think I'll know whether when, when I come back. Um, I may end up wearing a sweater. Um, I, I'm going to try to avoid it. I'm going to go for go for coffee rather than sweater, but it may turn out being a sweater. Okay, so it's two o'clock, and I'm just on my way out. Um, I was slowed down by a few things, um, including needing to charge. There's there's no way I'm going anywhere tonight. Um, uh, that's decided. So, um, instead, we're going to do a big grocery run, um, followed by probably a compost run tomorrow. Um, I think it's warm enough that I don't need a sweater. Um, although I am going to get a coffee pretty quick. I'm on my way out. Um, I may still have to get something to eat as well, depending on how long. It's either going to be like a big, like all the way around grocery run, or it's going to be just um, straight to the food basics. Um, if I end up going further than the food basics, then I'll get something to eat. If not, then I'll be back in a few hours. Let's see how that goes. It's on. It's 21 degrees out. I checked. I'm actually shivering a little bit. The warm coffee is necessary, and yet, the air remains on. Astounding. Well, we got lots of stuff at the food basics here. I may still have to get something to eat on the way back. I don't know. I haven't yet. The uh, there's an issue with the pills again. So I got I had to come back there, drop this off, come back, and then see what happens. It's uh, a lot better, in fact, slightly overstocked. That's good. Um. I'm going to take another run in through the store there. Um, they may have some more bananas and some other things. Um, it's what, almost 5 o'clock? Yeah, I'm going to take a run down to the other store. Um, I got plenty of time um, yes, if I go right now. It's really cool down out here. Um, like a lot. Such a hot summer that uh, it's a little bit uh, unsettling. <laughs> it's September. It's time for fall. Maybe not, you know, in the calendar, but in Canada, you know. Um, that said, I know the uh, the forecast suggests that this is actually um, just a just a dip, and it'll warm up again after, but. Uh, Still, it's, uh, it's feeling like the end of the summer right now, even if it doesn't end up being so. I managed to make it home without buying anything to eat. Um, well, of course, besides the food I bought at the grocery store. Um, and I'm kind of regretting it, unfortunately. Um, my feet are not going to allow me to go anywhere right now. Oh, that's the same thing. You know, it's, uh... 
I was doing okay until um, I put my knapsack on. And, well, I put my knapsack on full stuff. I think that it's, uh, the, the issue with my feet is less how far I'm walking and more how much stuff I'm putting on my back. In which case, I don't, I don't really think there's anything I can do about that, right? It's just, besides, like, surrounding my feet in styrofoam or something. Like, you know, it's something ridiculous like that. It's, uh, Well, actually, you know, it, it, there should be a way to fix that, right? If I could walk anywhere except the load on my back, and I put a load on my back, then that just means the pressure coming on my feet are, is, is increasing. So if I... See, if I push back, is that actually going to counteract it? Like what is the actual pull here? Is it... I guess it's the weight on my feet. In fact, it's probably the change of weight on my feet. Right? My feet are... used to a certain amount of stress. So I want to put more on. No, it's, it's not... It, not, not the weight itself, it's the change of weight, right? And if I did it for long enough, I suppose my feet would adjust to it. Or my uh, my, my body would learn how to deal with it. I mean, I'm using straight words, like I learn and adjust. It. The muscles in my feet would grow strong enough. You know, that's the thing that would happen, right? But, if, but the delta is... Uh, But what's the actual problem then? Is the actual problem the weight on my back, or is the actual problem the... No, it would be lifting, right? Yeah, lifting up, down, up, down, up, down. So how do I... Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think cushions are going to fix that. Because it's not like... Either way, um, it's not exactly that I'm hungry, it's more that I'm like, you, you know that feeling you get when you have done too much exercise without eating? It's like, like glucose deprived. Like low on blood sugar. I gotta wait for my feet to come back though. So yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of... I don't really want to make anything to eat right now. I just kind of want to like, you know, but my feet are not going to let me get up and go anywhere at all. What's for the rest of the night? I don't know. It's like, what, seven? Yeah, a little after seven. I might not be awake that much longer. We'll, we'll find out. Uh, so this is a slightly different scenario. Um, I didn't check the time. It's got to be like 8.30, 9 o'clock, something like that. I was able to get up um, and wash some strawberries off and uh, make a smoothie. Definitely hungry, tired, but hungry. At least I thought it was hungry. We've been doing this for almost a year now and you haven't seen me sick yet. I mean, I guess I was kind of like, messed up. Um, when I was quitting smoking, but I wasn't sick. I'm not certain of it yet, but I think I may have picked up a bug, a stomach bug. Um, 
I know I just puked for the first time and I can't remember when. Uh, three or four years. I pu I, I don't get... I, I don't leave the house very often. And when I do leave the house, I don't interact with people, right? So it's I don't have this, the opportunity to get sick. Um, but that was a good, nice good vomit there. Um, now, I do think that it may um, be because I chugged a coffee. See, when I went into the, into the grocery store, it was store number one. Um... I noticed that the coffee I had purchased was a little bit leaky, so, and I didn't want to walk around the store, that, I mean, it's, it's a grocery store, it's, you, you don't want to do that, right? So, I mean, I did eventually throw it out, but I mean, I chugged almost all of it, and it was like, it was, it was almost full, so I chugged a extra large coffee on a, on an empty stomach. I mean, I was mentioning that I wanted to get something to eat because, you know, my, my stomach was empty. I was hungry. Um, and I think that that's what happened. And I got home, and I, mean, I had some water after, and that may have complicated it. But um, it was ultimately the coffee chug that did it. I think, I hope. Um, after the vomit, it was after the vomit that I made my smoothie. Um, but I, I, I've been, uh, my stomach's still unhappy with me. All right, so I don't, I don't know. Um, I. I just can't come up with any scenario where I would have actually caught something. That's the hard part. So, um... <coughs> I'm kind of still, um... I think it might be just, uh... Some combination of the water and the empty stomach and the, and the coffee. But, um, I am having a hard time with this. And I do expect to go to sleep um, once I get it down. But that's, uh... I mean, I'm going to get sick eventually, right? Nobody goes forever without getting sick. But I... It's rare. Um, if I do... If I, if I did pick up a bug, it could be years before I get another one, so... I don't... Normally when you're sick, there's multiple things that are wrong, right? Right now, the only thing that's really bothering me is my stomach, so it's like for that reason, I'm kind of resisting it, but I mean, I need to, I need to be empirical as well, right? If I'm vomiting, then, you know, if I end up vomiting repeatedly, then I gotta admit that I've got some kind of bug. This was actually just, it was like one, it was like I, I got up and I was really hungry and I thought, I need to eat now kind of thing, right? I was woozy, I was like, ugh, right, and I was, I, I thought I was just really, really hungry, and I have, I have done this before, right, I've been in situations where I'm, like, super hungry, and I get up, and I have, like, a piece of bread or something, and it's, it's enough to, you know, get me, until I'm able to make something to eat, right, that's not what happened this time, what happened this time was I took a bite out of the strawberry, and, like, as soon as I took a bite out of a strawberry, I, I puked it up, so, um, I don't know yet, I don't know yet, but, uh, like, I don't have a runny nose, um, despite the stuff I just had there, I, I really don't, um, I don't have a headache, it's just, it's just, like, purely localized in my stomach, and that's, got me skeptical, I don't know, we'll find it, but, uh, yeah, for, for right now, um, I hope I wake up if I go to sleep have this kind of fear that I'm going to die in my sleep. I hope not. Okay, that was the most insane burp ever. No, for real. It was just like... It, it was like a ghost escaping. I 
with the spirit of my stomach leaving me. My soul dissipating. If I'm different from this point onwards, let us come back to this point where, where I burped myself away. You've heard expressions like, you know, shitting out your intestine or coughing up a lung. I, I, I may have just burped out or burped out my stomach. Or at least a part of myself. I feel different. I truly do. Let us see in the future. If we come back to this point and we see... We see Jessica... had that burp. And since then she's been... Uh, beside herself, uh, so she lost she lost a piece of her individuality. At the very least, I think my stomach is feeling a little bit better after the most absurd burp of all time, and I think that's um, a good sign that suggests I'm dealing with. Um, I don't want to say food poisoning, but heartburn anyways. Um, or whatever the term for drinking that much coffee is. Rather than a stomach bug. But if that's the case, it'll be great. Because uh, I'll be okay. I'm not doing anything else today. I'm still nursing the smoothie. Um, <laughs> And, uh, I'm, I'm heading to sleep. Indigestion, I think, was the word I was looking for. But, it's more like, like, more like stomach gases. I don't know. There's no, uh, no equivalent Pepto that you can inhale. It'd be going in the wrong, wrong organ anyways, but if you could, like, swallow some gas that would interact with your stomach gases and do what? Explode, I suppose. You would have to. Yeah. Acid fumes with basic fumes. Well, it would probably convert itself into a liquid as it's exploding. And so I'd be left a goopy, sticky mess. Maybe that's not, so, not such a good idea. But yeah, indigestion, I think. Uh, in, in whatever uh, abstraction, uh, as, in, as, as outside of the cliche as it is. I, uh, let us hope. wait. Here's a twist. She's gone delirious. She's gone mad. Can't be simple indigestion. She's gone mad.